uh, working two years as a print reporter. Then after that, it's just been all internet. And um, the you know the the big idea that I was a part of was, hey, there's this thing called the internet, and we can can have our newspapers up on the internet. So I, I was on a team that helped launch WashingtonPost.com, worked at AOL when people were first getting online, and it was it, it took a long time to create these new products and experiences. Anybody can go out there and they can start a Twitter account and start tweeting, like we saw during the Arab Spring, and that can you know, result in a whole revolution. Uh, the, the journalists are always the ones who are closest to the customers, right? Who, who are using the, using the products. And you know, even the term product is something we never really said as journalists until I'd say about five years ago. Well, I think it's really about imagining the future. and. Uh, you know, uh, not necessarily saying what the future will be, but, um, you know, working with the students and the faculty to, uh, you know, both stay on top of what's happening. What about uh, the, the students here, and I think, you know, really everywhere, is that they have pretty much grown up with digital technology, so they don't really have a lot of the, the hang-ups that people like us have um, about, it's like, oh, you know, will, uh, will people read our news stories, um, you know, on a tablet versus in a printed paper and, you know, miss the feel of the, of the paper and the magazine or whatever. You know, number one, they bring just fresh perspective. Um, and, um, you know, they're really, um, they're not just imagining what, you know, where things can go. They actually are where it is now. Um, so in a lot of ways, we can learn, you know, more from them in that, in that respect. We can work with them to bring the values of journalism um, you know, truth, accuracy, fairness, um, you know, a lot of the media law, you know, like Twitter, like Storify, which is actually built up, up on top of the content side and the business side. And then, you know, you, you necessarily have to sell the ad, but they need to be aware of how the advertising is paying for that. People who are teaching this, I've been in the profession, and, uh, you know, bringing that together with students who are, are really the future journalist. I want to create an environment or help create an environment here that helps um, anybody, students, faculty, um, you know, at Newhouse or across all of Syracuse University, anyone who has an idea for how to meet an information need of a community of interest that they define, um, show them that how quickly they can do it. You know, community connections, right? Mm -hmm. And the more hyper local you get, I think the more important that um, the conver you know news is a conversation. You could have uh, you know a few students come together like that and come up with a new product together that they couldn't have done individually. Then I think we'll see you know the next Facebook of news or the next Foursquare of news will come out of the Newhouse School. I, I, I want the environment to create um, uh, you know future news entrepreneurs. They don't I'm like the digital Sherpa, help people get up and out Everest, right? So I want to be there with them, but I'm not going to be the one who, you know, I'm going to be walking with them, but they're going to get themselves up there.